Bienvenidos and welcome back to a cleaning video. You guys, there's so much to get done today. Today we are doing a deep clean and a bathroom refresh for the spare bathroom downstairs. It's also known as my boy's bathroom. So I needed to go in here and really scrub the shower, the tub, the toilet, everything. Uh, so if you are new, welcome, my name is Rosa. And I like to provide you guys with tons of cleaning motivation. And I hope that today's video gives you a little bit of that, especially if you know that you've got that one bathroom or space in your house that really needs a serious deep clean. We are wiping down the walls. We're wiping down the ceiling. We are scrubbing the tub, the walls, uh, the shower walls. We're also cleaning up the toilet, wiping everything down. And so if you're needing some motivation, I hope that today's video brings you that. Um, as I said, my name is Rosa. I'm a mom of three boys um, and uh, one is off to college in Kansas, many states away from us because we are in Florida. Um, my oldest son stays home. He attends the local state college. And then my 14 uh, year old is also home. So even though this bathroom isn't being ran by three boys, boys in general are just gross. So it always needs a really good clean, a really good scrub down. But I wanted to start with vacuuming my stairs. For those that return, you guys know my struggle with vacuuming the stairs. I try to keep them vacuumed and cleaned as often as I can, especially when I have the vacuum out. And I haven't done a good job with that lately. So I wanted to add it in here to let you guys know I am cleaning my stairs or vacuuming my stairs. And for those that continue to come back, thank you guys so much for being here. I appreciate your support and your love. You guys know our goal uh, with this channel of getting to 5,000 subscribers. So I'm hopeful that we'll get there. Um, but again, thank you guys so much. I, I appreciate your support. You can find me over on Instagram. Um, and you can also find my like to know it app uh, or link down below. That's just a place where I post anything and everything that I love that I've purchased. Um, I'm working on adding more things. Um, but a lot of the finds in today's video, or at least these shelving units, I actually returned one because I didn't realize how big they were for the wall that I was going to put them on. Um, I got from Home Goods. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to link that for you, but I'll try to find something similar. Um, but we need to get this bathroom cleaned. <coughs> Sorry, I have an itch in my throat. But we need to get this bathroom cleaned, and I hope you guys are in it uh, with me. So let's get started with some deep cleaning of this bathroom. Feeling like the world is in our hands 
So you guys know if you have boys or just children in general the toilet is is always a struggle <laughs> it is always a struggle so I needed to make sure that I wipe that down with several Clorox wipes and just yeah it needed that good scrub down so this little table I got from I want to say home goods as well um, I mentioned it in several videos back, I want to say maybe a couple months back, that I wanted to refinish this table. As you guys can see, there's rings on it. Um, I'm just not sure as to what color. Um, it's not real wood, it's like that pressed wood. So I need some help and some ideas um, in getting this refreshed to another color. I know I'm going to have to sand it down. The baskets are still in great shape, um, but just the color itself and kind of just not to hide the stains, the circle, you know, the ring marks on there. So let me know if you guys have any ideas what I should do. Um, again, it's not real wood, it's pressed wood, so I can't sand it down to natural wood and then, you know, stain it or anything. Um, or maybe I could, I don't know. Tell me guys what you, tell me what you guys think.
if you're wondering about the wallpaper, um, it is holding up very well. <clears throat> Excuse me. It is holding up very well. Still enjoying it, um, especially the one in the bathroom, uh, my bathroom. And this one looks super cute, super cute. I cannot talk. I'm so sorry. This one looks super cute. I absolutely love it. Um, but yeah, the wallpapers are doing really, really well. And I've been very pleased with them. Um, I think maybe down the line, if they reach out to me, meaning this company reaches out to me, I may work with them again and changing this wallpaper into something else, maybe a little bit more fun or colorful in here. I wanted to stick to the safe, you know, something safe in here because it, it is a, it is the spare bathroom. So I want it to be neutral, but I know like that color, you know, color is coming back in and I did do an accent wall in my bathroom, the blue wall, and I still love my wall. I'm just... I'm in love with my bathroom. It looks so good. We are actually in the market of redoing our vanity in there, our bathroom sinks, because there there was a leak. And um, we are just going to tear that out at some point. Uh, so my husband's sink isn't on. It's turned off. So when he comes home, he's got to use my sink, which is not a problem. But I kind of like having my own space. <laughs> so we are looking into getting... Uh, a really nice vanity up there and uh, hopefully soon um, but I know that's going to be a task in itself so um, but I just wanted to give you guys an update in regards to the wall um, and if you're wondering why uh, they don't the boys don't have a really nice vanity in here it's because they did have one and they broke it so needed to put a pedestal in here something that is durable for them and that can handle they're roughing around in here because you know kids just don't care a lot of times they just open things and close things and don't really care um and it was also a catch-all everything was up there but then now everything's over on this little vanity here or this little side table so yeah have to get keep that cleaned as well but i just wanted to let you guys know that the wallpaper is still holding up strong and i'm still loving it You guys will see here in just a bit how big this little circular wall shelf is and I purchased two of them like I said and as you saw um, but I only needed one what the goal was is to have one for the toilet paper because I did have um, the toilet paper holder but it just wasn't like it just kept falling over and it was just a royal pain in the arse so I wanted to um, just give this bathroom something less on the floor, quite honestly. Um, so I ended up buying a plant as well. You guys will see that. I also got that over at Home Goods. Um, you know, you just find really good things over at Home Goods, but I don't go as I used to. I don't go as often as I used to. I used to go all the time. But um, yeah, only I, when I went, I saw it. I said, I gotta have it because this would be perfect in the boys bathroom I also hung up my blue shower curtain down here just to give it some just give it a new look again this is the spare bathroom and also um, the boys bathroom so I want it to look nice um, for you know for when people came over um, and uh, I think that the after looks great and you guys will see that here shortly I think it's cozy I how, how could you call a bathroom cozy like but it looks really good and I'm very very proud of it I do need to find um, 
some bath mats in here for this space. Um, but as often as I take them out, I just need to find something that's durable that's not going to shed. And so far, the ones that I have are from Ikea. They're like a gray and also one that's brown. Um, is, it a, is it a brown? I think, yeah, it is a brown. It's like a, a coffee brown. Not a coffee brown, like a taupe brown. And those are so easy to pick up and just throw in the washer. Um, but this is the after. And I love how that wall looked uh, and turned out. There's space on the floor um, for the trash can easily and just where they're not knocking over the toilet paper. Now here's the thing, they forget that the toilet paper is up there so they're always getting more. I'm like, y'all, just use the one that's on the shelf and they forget. They forget. I also need to get a towel to hang in here on that uh, towel rack. I'm thinking about getting a new towel rack to put there. Just, you know, give it some more life, <laughs> but not make it feel so, so claust, like, like, like con congested. That's the word, not feel so congested. So now we're in the laundry room and we're needing to finish up some laundry. And you guys are going to see my, um, my model. <laughs> I was calling him my, what is it, uh, next top model. He's going to pop in the film or in the in the clip here in a little bit. Shirtless, of course. Um, and he didn't realize. He goes, oh, my bad. Didn't realize you were filming. Didn't know I was in the clip. So, um, yeah, he'll pop in here. Uh, he's, he's a mess. But I wanted to just add in some folding, some laundry motivation as well. Um, and tidying up the laundry room. So I want to thank you guys so much for being here. I hope that today's video brought you tons and tons of motivation to get up and deep clean your bathroom or a small space or even do some laundry, um, whatever it is. But I really hope that today's video, like I said, brought you tons of motivation. If you like these kind of videos, make sure that you hit that subscribe button, hit that like button. Sorry, my son's chest is in the clip here. <laughs> But make sure you hit the like button, hit that notification bell, so that you are notified when uh, new videos are posted and um, share. We have a goal to get to 5,000 by the end of the year, and I know with your help, we'll definitely get there. Um, again, so thank you guys for being here. I look forward to seeing you guys in the next one. Much love and God bless. <laughs>